Hello my friends, today I have a really amazing video for you and that is the best shortcuts for Affinity Photo that you have probably never heard of. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Very important, thank you for that, let's get started. By the way, if you're a Mac user, it is very easy to translate these key combinations. Just remember, Control on Windows is Command on Mac and Alt, which stands for Alternate, on Windows is Option on Mac. Very easy. So, for example, we have here a circle and then we have a rectangle on top that covers all of the image and that is transparent. So we have kind of a light effect on our image. Let's change the color here like that. So how can I now select the circle because it is covered by that rectangle. Well, there is a shortcut for that. You hold the Alt key on your keyboard and then click. So this will select first the rectangle, but when you click again, it will select the circle. You can see, very easy. So Alt and click will cycle through the different layers that you can click on. Okay, cool. So here is the next thing that you can do. And that is if you have a lot of layers. So now we have a ton of layers and you would, for example, select this one. Now on the left side where you have all your layers in that tab, you can't really find that. So what are you going to do about that? Well, there's also a shortcut for that and that is Control and K together. It scrolls to the layer in the layer tab and highlights it as you can see here. So let's select another one, Control and K and you can see it scrolls and it highlights this specific layer. That is extremely useful and probably a shortcut that nobody has ever heard of. Okay, let's go on to the next thing that I want to show you. And that is about rotation. One thing that you probably do know is that you can, of course, rotate an object. And another thing that you probably know is when you hold the shift key, when you hold the shift key, it rotates in 15 degree iterations. So you can see here it goes from zero to 15, 30, 45, 60, and so on. But when you have rotated your object, it still retains the original outlines for the selection. And this might be problematic if you want to align it with other objects. For example, let's make a circle over here and you want to align it, but it should snap to the outside of the circle, which you can't really do. But you can when you press the period button on your keyboard. This will switch over to an outline to a selection box that is actually in 90 degree lines around your shape. And now you can actually snap it to the other object with these outlines. So that is very, very helpful. And of course, if you want to get back to the original uh, selection box, press period again, and it's back again. So that is very easy. Okay. Another thing is about snapping. We have seen right now that, for example, if you move an object to another object, it snaps and it also, you can see it snaps to the center of my image and there's a lot of snapping going on and this can be very distracting. To momentarily turn that off, let's recolor this real quick and also make some helplines here so we have some more distraction in our picture. So here you can see snapping can drive you really crazy. Okay, what you can do, there is two options what you can do. Click and drag and then while you drag, press the Alt key and this will momentarily turn off snapping. So you can smoothly move around your object. It will snap to nothing at all. This is very helpful. But another thing you can do is that you press the semicolon button on your keyboard and this will toggle between snapping being turned on and off. So semicolon pressed and you can see very smooth movement semicolon pressed again so my snapping is on and it's snapping to everything by the way up here when you are in the move tool you have this button or well, like the magnet and when it has a light background you can see that the snapping is turned off 
and when it has a dark background the snapping is turned on so you have a visual cue here what is going on and you can also turn it on and off that way okay let's go to our next trick and the next trick is about zooming and view so what you can do for example if you want to zoom to 100% you can of course go to your zoom tool and then here and select 100% that's a lot of hustle so what you want to do instead is press on your keyboard control and then on the number pad at the same time one and this will go to 100% so one is 100% two control plus two is 200% control plus four is now nah, sorry control plus three is 400% and control plus four is 800% and when you want to zoom out to your overview again that is control plus zero boop like that and you're back so now you can zoom very quickly especially to 100% which you can use for a lot of things like sharpening details in your picture okay let's talk about the next trick and this is when you're zoomed in you want to move around your canvas you can of course click down here or on the side on these handles but that is not very intuitive instead what you can do is press down your mouse wheel which is also known as mouse button three so mouse button three and when you click and hold you can actually drag around your canvas so you can view other parts of the image and this by the way can also be done while you're using tools for example when you use the freehand selection tool and one way to use it is to hold shift and then click 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 so it will create straight lines as you can see here but when I come to the edge of my canvas I can't move it because my mouse is locked in with the shift but what you can do is press the middle mouse button and move your canvas and then progress with your selection so you can actually be zoomed in and make a very precise selection at the same time of course I'm not doing a precise selection at the moment just showing you how it works all right let's go to the next shortcut that is about view because sometimes you just need a bigger workspace you just need to see your picture in a bigger size so to remove all of the things that you don't need just press tap on your keyboard you can see it removes everything and you can actually view your picture almost full screen so that is pretty nice and still you have access to the menus down up here for filters and everything and if you want to go back simply press tab again and all of your tabs and tools and everything is back again so you can progress with your work as normal okay now come two tricks or shortcuts about color one is about your brush so let's say you paint with your brush on the background and you have your main color but you want to switch over to your secondary color over here you can see I have black and then the secondary color is green how you do that you can click on that of course but as a quicker way you can simply press X on your keyboard and you, see, you can see this will switch between the main and the secondary color for painting masks this is very helpful but also for a lot of other purposes and you can also by the way swap out the colors in shapes let's make a shape here and here we have our outline and if you want to switch between the color of the line and the fill color what you can do is you press shift and x and you can see this toggles the colors I hope you like these shortcuts if you have other suggestions of shortcuts that I should put in videos in the future please tell me in the comments thank you for watching and please share this video because I think this video will really help a lot of people see you in the next episode bye